Good morning, cuties. <sighs> it's Friday morning. It's a beautiful day. It's going to be a little warm, but I'm home alone, and I figured I would take you on my morning chores. Smokey, you and Pumpkin need to try to get along today. In my last video, I told you that we would be doing a lot of beekeeping coming up over the next few weeks, and we will, but uh, we also have our daily chores, so I thought I'd take you once again around in the morning and show you what we're doing here on the farm. I'm alone this morning. I'm the only one out here. Just me, you, and the camera. This could serve as a bit of a poultry update as well. I have still these three coops over here that are being used. This open pen here. Check out that mulberry. Look how big that's getting. Over here we have silkies and one duck. That's joy. In the pen next door, we have two little ducks and two big ducks. Two Australian spotted ducks and then the two bigger ones are hybrids. They're rowan and runner mix. And right next door is our main flock of Australian spotted ducks. My number one concern for the animals when it's this hot, when it's going to be hot during the day, is water. And I notice already that this blue baby pool is empty this morning. I just filled it up last night, so it must have a hole in it. I'll be replacing it with this black plastic tub. I think the ducks like these a little better anyway. Easier to get in and out. use this brick as a platform to help them get in and out. Okay, that way they have a little step. Right next door are the uh, largest block of Australian spotteds. We're going to get their water cleaned up. It only takes them a couple hours to completely dirty up some water. This floor in here is ready for a new layer of mulch. But until I can get that done, what I'll do is I'll just turn this top layer of soil over, exposing lots of worms so the ducks can have something more natural to eat. This is the good stuff right here. This is what the ducks love to get in here and wiggle their bills around and find these guys under that soil. Right now, all of the feed is over here in the uh, the horse, kind of the ugly shed area. We have all the feed up under up under this cover. So we have the horse hay, and then the different grains, the seed, and the goat food, and the duck food, and the horse food. Morning, Maggie. Here's a little bit of grain for you guys. And some for you. These ducks are scaredy ducks. I don't know why. 
And a little bit of green for the silkies and ducats in here. I'll refresh their water too. I'll go ahead and take this dirty water and pour it in my plants over here. These are trees that are waiting to be planted. They're all in fabric pots sitting in this this uh, this old blue pool. It has a hole in it too, but it holds just enough water to keep those fabric pots nice and moist. All right, let's get Maggie her hay for the morning. She's been waiting patiently. You can see she's waiting by this bucket. She's waiting for her grain. Come on, Maggie. I know you want some. Come on, girl. Come inside. Come on. That's about a quart of feed. This is a three quart container and I only fill it up about a third of the way. Once in the morning and once in the evening. I also like to get Maggie started on some hay. So I'll grab a couple flakes of hay. If you don't know, a bale, a square bale of hay, when it's baled up, ends up in these flakes. And that's what uh, people say they feed their horse a couple flakes a day or whatever. So that one grip right there, that ends up being a flake of hay. I usually give her two or three in the morning. There's not a lot of grasses growing right now, so we have to give her extra hay in June and July when things, uh, pretty much the grass production is down. You can't forget Maggie's water. Maggie has two places for water right now, and that's the one I'm filling up over here, and then another one that we have filled up out here at all times. The next stop are the goats that are back here in this pen. So we're gonna get a little bit of goat food and a little bit of duck food because there's some ducks living with the goats. Goats get about half a quart. And the ducks probably about the same. Morning goats. The ducks have some water inside here that by morning, every night I freshen it up and by morning it's horrible. So we're going to dump that out, squish it around a little bit to get all of the sediment off the bottom. And I just happen to have a bucket sitting here. They also have this container that I'll freshen up and a pool that I'll freshen up today as well. Just a few more coops and places to visit and then we'll be done with our morning chores. You didn't think I forgot about the big girls, did you? They have to be taken care of near last because if they get out, they're all over everything and it makes it very difficult to finish the chores. So before I let them out, I'm gonna go over here and take care of the triangle tractor that has the three ducks, the breeding set of ducks that we uh, have bred this year. Also, we have the square pin that is, has one rooster. He was being feisty with the others, so he had to be separated. And for now, we have a flock of silkies in the... And I'm not always sure how and why we have the different chickens in the different places, because I, I leave that up to my wife and daughter. 
they have a plan and I just listen to what they say and take care of the chickens. Good morning girls and boys. Let's freshen up their water. Sometimes we'll come out and bleach the buckets. Today I'm just going to rinse it out and dump it out and fill it up. I'll probably come out three times today and take care of this water because it's very hot and these chickens will go through this water pretty quickly. And they do also make it very dirty so I want to make sure they have clean water at least two or three times a day. And from the square to the triangle, these ducks here, they can dirty up their water really, really fast. Their water has to be changed several times a day as well. Morning duckies. We're gonna get fresh water. They're anxiously awaiting because one of the things they like every day, several times a day, is that underneath this water container, attracts bugs. So when I dump this out, they're going to come over and eat some of these bugs. I noticed that the square and the triangle pins or coops or tractors, whatever you want to call those, still had a little bit of food from last night. I guess I overfed them. So we're just going to take a scoop of food over to the... Hey Silkies, I didn't forget about you. Here's your food. I didn't forget about you girls either. Let me get you a scoop of food. Well, the dog pen, the square, the triangle, the big chickens, Maggie, and the coops over here, the three coops in the white for the ducks and the silkies over here. Everyone's taken care of as far as birds and horses. So now we just have to go take care of. Oh, I know, I gotta go get the food. How you doing, girl? When are you gonna get bigger, huh? When are you gonna get bigger? Here's some water. We're spooky. Oh, there he is. Or she. Spooky, are you a boy or a girl? I don't remember. The name is Spooky because not only is Spooky black and orange, but Spooky is spooked easily. He's a true scaredy cat, aren't you? Yep. Alright, I'll leave the port so you can eat. Well, it is warming up already today, but I got the morning chores done. The animals are taken care of for a while. I'm going to go inside, get a little something to eat and drink, and then we're going to go out and take care of the bees later. Hopefully that will be the next video. Thank you so much for joining me in this episode. I know that sometimes my channel is kind of all over the place, but it's life on this little homestead. It's what we do. It's how we live. So thank you so much for being a part of this journey. If you are subscribed, thank you for doing that, for continuing to come back over and over to support what I do here on the Daddy Curbs Farm. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that button and subscribe so that you can get notifications of my upcoming videos. Give me a thumbs up. That lets YouTube know that you appreciate what's going on here on the Daddy Curbs Farm. Thanks again for watching. I'll talk to you soon.